I will never forget when I first started selling and I would always dread the moment where I had to shake the prospect's hand because my palms were so sweaty because I was so nervous. And so I would constantly be wiping off my hand and trying to get it to be as not sweaty as possible. We have all dealt with nerves in sales and some of us have learned to deal with it better than others. But chances are you've been in a selling situation recently where you got a little nervous. And what we find is that nerves don't help us in selling situations at all. So you've got to get your nerves under control when you're in a selling situation. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to not get nervous in selling situations. Check it out. Number one, it's about a role. This is really important to understand the mindset behind why most salespeople get nervous. Most of us are so afraid of being rejected, of having the prospect tell us no. And the reason we're afraid of that is not because no is so inherently bad, it's because we feel like they are rejecting us as an individual. But they're not rejecting you as an individual. Instead, they are rejecting the role that you are playing. So if you're making a cold call to a prospect and they hang up on you, it's not that they're hanging up on you as a person, but it's that they're hanging up on the role that you are playing. And either something that you did or something that was going on in their life caused them to hang up the phone. And it's about a role. So when you have a selling situation that doesn't go the way you want, recognize that it has nothing to do with you as a human being, but instead about the role that you are playing. Number two, they can't hurt you. This is something that I remind salespeople of all the time, is that in sales, they're not able to punch you. They can't reach through the phone and attack you. They can't hit you. All they can do is maybe say some less than nice things about you, but even in most cases, that doesn't even happen. They can't physically hurt you. So just remember that. We're not out at war, we're in sales. It's not that bad. There is no situation where they can physically harm you. And just by reminding yourself of that, that we are not soldiers at war, but instead, we're just salespeople. We're people who are trying to engage another human being. That's it. Number three, learning experiences aren't failure. The only time you fail is when you quit. Everything else in between is a learning experience. So if you make a call that goes poorly or you have a prospecting meeting that really doesn't go the way you expected or it was a disaster or they ghost you or whatever it is, that must become a learning experience. You have to learn from that experience. So don't just fear it. Don't be afraid of it, but instead just recognize that a lot of selling situations aren't gonna go well. Even good salespeople often have like a 25% close ratio. That means that 75% of the time, the sale doesn't happen. It's about learning experiences, not failure. Number four, follow a system. One of the biggest problems that I see in sales is that a lot of sales reps are making it up as they go. As a result of just making it up as they go, they really never learn what works and what doesn't work because they're just kind of making it up. When you follow a proven sales system, you are cutting out so many years of pain and trial and error. And most importantly, if you know that it works, when you follow a system and a sale doesn't go as you expected, you now have a way to deconstruct what actually happened. People who follow the sales insights methodology that we use, when a sale goes poorly or a prospect ghosts, now I have a vocabulary by which I can ask them questions and say, did you schedule the next step? And they're like, oh no, I didn't schedule the next step. Now you have this system to consistently learn and get better. And as a result, you have nothing to fear or be nervous about. Number five, get lots of reps. What I mean by this, is like reps at a gym, right? If you're getting curls, you're doing bicep curls, the only way your biceps get bigger is if you get lots of repetition or lots of reps. And that's just as true in sales. You need lots of reps. So if you're making cold dials or you are conducting prospecting calls or face-to-face -face meetings, whatever it is, you have to recognize that you need a lot of repetition using a systematic approach. 
But when you get lots of repetition, you start to see what are the scenarios that likely happen? What are the scenarios that don't happen? Because a lot of times, particularly salespeople that get really nervous, they're so afraid of something happening that really never happens. And so by getting a lot of reps, it's literally like a muscle. And the stronger it gets, the more effective you get, and the less nervous that you just naturally get. Number six, all prospects are just people. This is so important to remember. I think sometimes we dehumanize our prospects and we start to think of them as someone that's on a pedestal and that we have to kiss up to and that they're somehow all knowing and so important. And as a result, we get really nervous. But we have to remember that all prospects are just people. They're like you, they're like me, they're like your parents, they're like your neighbors, they're just normal people. And the more we recognize that they're just a normal person, the more we can just take a deep breath and be like, okay, I've got control of this. It's just a person. Number seven, high level buyers are just people. I know we just talked about this, but it cannot be mentioned enough. So often, we as salespeople get really nervous calling on the CEO of a company or that high level buyer, the person who has a C in their name, the CFO, the CIO, the CTO, the CSO, the CMO, or someone who's a VP, or they've got these fancy titles, or maybe they've gone to fancy schools. But you just have to remember, every high level buyer is just a person. They're just a person. I studied at some of the best universities in the planet, and I can tell you that every single person that went to Harvard who has a fancy degree from Harvard University is just a person. They have toilets, they're just people. It's not a big deal. Recognize that high level buyers are just people. They have concerns, they have kids, they have frustrations, they fight with their spouse, they are just people. Number eight, it's just a game. This goes back to some of the earlier ideas about how they can't hurt you and it's just a role. It's just a game. Sales is like any contact sport. Yeah, it can sting a little bit, but at the end of the day, they're not gonna kill you. You don't die. Even in football, which I played in college, you're not going to die. It might hurt a little bit, but it's just a game. And at the end of the game, the people on the other team are just people. They're just people like you or me. In sales, it's just a game. You have to remember, if you have a call that goes poorly or you have a sales meeting that just is a disaster, it's just a game. Just learn from it, get better. Use these mindsets to be better and recognize, you know what, it's just a game. Have fun with it, laugh about it. It doesn't matter. Number nine, S W cubed N. This stands for some will, some won't, so what next? Let me repeat that. Some will, some won't, so what next? That is your mindset moving forward. That's how you never get nervous in sales because you wanna recognize that no matter what happens, no matter how badly a sales situation goes, some will, some won't, so what next? That's it. We have nothing to fear. You're going to learn, you're going to make mistakes, you're gonna screw things up and that's okay. Everyone does that. Everyone does that. That's just what happens. And the more you can just not really care that much about things going poorly. Now, obviously we want to set ourselves up for success, but if they, for some reason, go poorly, just tell that story to someone, have a laugh. It's okay. So there is how not to get nervous in selling situations. And if you enjoyed this video, then I have an awesome free training on the data driven approach to closing more sales in today's marketplace. Just click right here to get registered instantly. Seriously, just click right here. This is an in-depth training that will help you close more sales at higher prices, all while generating more meetings. Also, if you got some value, please like this video below on YouTube and be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking my face that should be right about here to get access to a new video just like this one each week.